Ayo, what is up? We're back with some more Nancy Drew. This one's The Haunted Carousel. Um, if I remember right from last time, we were kind of stuck in a certain area, but we did make a lot of progress, so maybe we can hop into it and figure out what's going on and why we were stuck. So let's jump back into Nancy Drew here and see where we left off. Sounds good, thanks. Does it sound good with the, um, don't mind my load names, uh, with the game? Okay. I want to go check my, uh, laptop here and see my to-do list. Okay. I've gotten, like, everything marked off here. Turn the game down just a little bit? Yes, man. I think it sounds okay. Uh, what if I just do this? Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. I just turned the music volume down a little bit. There we go. It's fine. Okay. Translate the note, look for records, sail the carousel. Basically, I just need to find the shorthand then. And that's like my biggest thing. Everything else is checked off. Maybe I can go call my buddies and see if they have anything. Keep checking email. Well, maybe if I go call my buddies. Do I have anything new in my inbox? Mm, okay. Just more sassy detective stuff. Yeah, throw things at him. You know what? That's my escape plan normally, is if any um, bad guys come up to me, you just throw things at them. Keep a lot of knives on you and throw it at them. It's my, uh, that's, that's my advice. All right. Let's see. Hotel operator, what do you want? Wait. Huh? Oh, I have a cell phone. Well. Maybe I should just order something yummy then. Sure. I'd like to order the hamburger platter with milk instead of a I soft I drink. I had a cell phone. One hamburger platter with moo juice. It'll moo be juice. there in a few. Anything else? That's a new one. That's it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I mean, I do commend Nancy for picking milk because milk is the superior drink. Just saying. Hmm. Ew. Ew. Please don't do that again. Okay. So I forgot I had a cell phone. So let's see. We don't want that. Let's call our buddies. Let's call them. See if they have any idea of what to do next. Um, anything about the shorthand. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's Nancy. Oh, hey, Nancy. Whoa, uh, you sorry, were obviously I'm not a hoping hot I was boy. someone else. Well, kinda. Okay, so who is he and where'd you meet him? Oh, Nancy, his name's Matt, and he is so cute. He works the concession stand at the movie theater in the mall. Mm, red flag. No, I'm just kidding. That's what I do. With an endless supply of gummy bears and butter flavoring, right at his fingertips. We're talking major crush. Hey, George. Good. You're there too. Barely. I almost got caught standing between Bess and the phone just now. When it rings, she's like a one-woman cattle stampede. <laughs> what happened to caller ID, Bess? My parents yanked it. She wouldn't pick up when it was some loser she didn't want to talk to. Her mother got tired of hearing the phone ring all the time. Not all those calls were from losers. Sometimes I was playing hard to get. Anyway, how are things at the amusement park? All right, good for you. Good for you. Okay, so... <sighs> okay, there's a lot. I don't think we've told them very much. I met so the security guard, Carlin Bishop. Nice guy. Except when I asked him where he worked before. He seemed kind of evasive. Is he cute? Pess, what difference does that make? Ugly people have chips on their shoulders and are more likely to commit crimes, George. I read that somewhere. I either read it or saw it on Oprah. Okay. He's from New Jersey. I'm pretty sure about that. Well, I guess that's not surprising. But if he was evasive, we know what that means, don't we, Bess? Suspect, Suspect list. I think I might know why somebody stole that horse off the carousel. They were looking for jewels that had been hidden inside it after a hotel robbery. Hidden jewels? I love it! That's almost as good as buried treasure! But if they recovered the Again. jewels, why is the carousel still going around by itself? I'm not sure yet, but the detective who is in charge of investigating the robbery is helping me look into it. Don't let George discourage you, Nancy. I, for one, think you're on the right track. You can never go wrong when jewelry is involved. Again, I don't understand why you would hide, like, 
expensive jewels in a carousel horse. Like, yeah, it's kind of a fun place to hide it, but kids ride around on it all day. They get worn out. What if the thing breaks and somebody just finds them? Like, I just don't think it's the smartest decision, but, you know, it's whatever. There was a brochure for a sports car in Ingrid's work area, the Pandora 2XS. That is, like, the hottest car ever. One of oh. the most expensive, that's for sure. She must make a ton of money. Either that or she's about to come into a ton of money. Hmm. The engine oil thickens. Hey, I need you guys Ingrid to do, do something it? for me. Is it Ingrid? I found some stenography notes that I'd really like to translate, only I don't know shorthand. Say no more. We'll do some research and get right back to you. We will? I barely know how to spell stenography, let alone <laughs> research it. We'll call you when we're through. We can do this, Bess. What is with all this we stuff? You know what? Maybe... Maybe I relate with Bess. I finally met the park's art director, Elliot Chen. We kind of got off on the wrong foot, but he's real friendly to me now. But is he too friendly? That's the question. Yeah, maybe he's trying to deflect suspicion by making nice. Or maybe he's just a nice guy but was cranky that morning because that happens to me sometimes. That could be. I do get the feeling he knows more about the carousel than he lets on. Uh-oh. Sounds like another candidate for the suspect list. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's so much more. All right. I almost what got creamed by the anything? roller coaster when I was on the tracks looking around, and I I'll don't think it, it was an accident. Someone tried to kill you? Ouch. I found one of Joy's chewed up pencils just before it happened, but she says she doesn't know how it got there. Just from now on, stay away from that coaster, Nan. Stick to the carousel. Man, I never thought I'd hear myself say that. <laughs> Turns out Ingrid was calling Lance Huffington to share a remedy for neck pain with him. Or so she says. She's also been making money on the side by helping someone design a roller coaster. Or so she says. I agree with Bess. Don't go erasing her from your suspect list just yet, Nan. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played this one in a really long time. I don't remember who the bad guy is. A secret someone left a key for me that unlocked a door in the haunted house. I was hoping it would lead to Kessler's old workshop. Instead, it led to a booby trap. Someone purposefully lured you into a trap? You must be getting close to something, Nan. Oh yeah, getting so close. Carlin is the one who gave me the key, but I'm not sure if that makes him more suspicious or less suspicious. My money's on more. Don't trust anyone, Nan. I trust everyone. No, I'm just kidding. Got anything for me in the way of hints? While you're waiting for us to get you that info on stenography, why don't you go back to the hotel and chill? Speaking of chill, you could order another one of those fun days. Bess. Catch you guys later. Hasta la vista. You're doing great. Okay, so I'm just supposed to chill here until they get they get everything done. I guess I could order another fun day. Fun day Sunday. How long will it take for them to do this? Hotel operator, what do you want? I'd like to order a fun day, please. Another fun day, huh? Anything else? That's it. Don't Thanks a lot. Judge me. It. Don't judge me and what I eat. That's my business, not yours. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Okay, I got another fun day. Are you guys gonna call or are you guys good? What's happening? Hmm. Okay, I don't know. Alright, well, what if I like just go around and I could go play more games at the Midway while I wait for them to call because that's pretty much the only thing left is that I have on my agenda is to find out what that says. So we can come here and try to get all of the prizes. So I've gotten the that. I don't want that again. What else can I get? Do I have any chips already? I don't think so. So we could get a boat, a harm... I already have the harmonica as well. So I just need the shark and the boat. So I need... A clam and a mermaid. Where can I get a clam and a mermaid? Not Barnacle Blast. I hate Barnacle Blast. My keyboard's sticky. This is Barnacle Blast. After this, you'll have just one fun credit left on your card. Now blast all those nasty barnacles off the ship. Yeah, see, that's the problem is my, uh... One of my arrow keys is sticky, so this is this will be in interesting. Let's do medium because I have sticky keys. I just want to get the. Uh.
I never said I was good at it. Why do some of them make money sounds? Does that mean it's a really good one to pop? How many levels do I have to do to beat them? Oh! I hate barnacle bash. Those don't even look like barnacles. I'm just waiting. I want to get all the toys because I wonder if it'll give me like a little thing at the end if I get all of them or something. I hate Barnacle Bash. Mm. Okay, well, I took out the whole first row, so that's good. At least I did that. I'm so close. I'm so close. So close. Oh. Please don't fail now. No! Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Try again. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. I'm not cranky. What's the time for? Is it like for a high score or something? Like the faster I get it done in, the higher the score I get? How many... How many times do I have to try it? Is it unlimited? Maybe if I was to play the harder round, I don't get unlimited tries. Or, like, instead of playing the intermediate sleuth level, if I played master sleuth or something, I could... I don't know, really. Oh, see? My sticky key almost got me there. Please, please, please just get this stupid barnacle. Please. Oh my gosh. Please get the barnacle. Just hit the barnacle. Come on, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Come on. Yes! Okay, so now I get the shell token. I just need the other one. And I can get all the toys and the thing. And then maybe by then, Bess and George will call me. And I can move on with the investigation. I'm pretty sure that's, it's like the only thing, I can't move on or progress in the game until I get that done. Oh, my key was sticky. I need to fix that. I'm not really sure how to fix that, but I probably need to get that fixed. Okay, alright, alright. Come on. Take out these last couple of barnacles. We'll be good to go. Two. One more. One more. Come on. No. Oh, the sticky key almost ruined it. Okay, get it, get it, get it. First try. First try. Yay! Nice. Okay, so now I can come over here. I already have all of them. I just want that... Oh yeah! That's so cool. I have no idea why I need it. And I have a shark. Do you have a shark? No. I do. Now what do I do? Um... Check my emails. Nothing. A whole... Lot of nothing. Good for me. Maybe I can go chit-chat with somebody and see if they have anything to say. Oh, what about... Joy! Oh, see, Hello? there it is. Hi, Nance. We found some stuff on stenography. Oh, so now it's we, huh? Okay, George found most of it. Surprise, surprise. But I helped. Right. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. 
So go back to the hotel and check your laptop. We emailed a little tutorial to you. But you gotta promise to let us know what the note you translate says. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. Right, of course, once I leave... Um... There it is. Okay. Oh, gosh, I've... The stenogra stenograph or stroke for S is a small comma. The stroke is also used for the sound of a Z. The sound for A, as in May or day, is represented as a small circle. Okay. Below is shorthand for the word say. You'll notice that the stroke for S and the top stroke is on top of the stroke for O. So some words are starting to be read from bottom to, to top and some from left to right. That's good. Say equals squiggly E. Okay. Shorthand for ace is written with the A stroke on top of the S stroke below. Ace. That's good. Because short is based on the sound of the word, letters are not pronounced, are left out. So the word say only includes the stroke S and A and does not include a stroke for Y. Similarly, the word ace only includes the strokes for the sound A and S and not E, you'll notice the stroke for S is used instead of C because the sound C makes the S sound. That's neat. Ugh. We learned the strokes for S and A sound. We also learned that letters are not pronounced, known as silent letters are not written in shorthand. Below are words which contain silent letters. Below each word, type a letter that is not pronounced and so not be written in shorthand. So the Y. And this one, I was, okay, did that not count? Y. Main. E. Snow. W. I'm so smart. Perfect score. Look at me go. That's, look at me. Go, okay. Shorthand stroke for E, sounds are similar, circles are stroke for A, compare the two. E, C, A, say. So, basically, it could be E or A if it's a teeny one. Oh, gosh, okay. The shorthand stroke for N, okay, so instead of going through all of this, let's see what the, what is that? Let's see what the letter said. Okay, that's a lot. All right, so I'm going to write down a horse named something. So it looks like a squiggle, then it goes under, then it goes... Okay, and then there's two lines. So maybe horse named something. Okay, so maybe if I have this written down... Wait, the horse would be moved from the ride on... Okay, so wait, so that is good. Okay, so maybe if I write that down, I'll be able to take... I'll be able to kind of figure it out. So, the first part is kind of like a lump. Oh, gosh. So where would the lumpy part come in? The first lump. Oh, this is a lot of work. It kind of looks like that. So... No, because it started... Down. What? This one. It looks like... So is that G? Strokes for K and G are similar to the... Okay. K, G... This is, this is complicated. This is too much for my brain to even try to process. So I'm going to take a picture of it and go from there. Okay. So also that I have the picture and I have it written down. So it does start like that. And so is it? Okay. It starts from there. Um, 
So is it G, but is it shorter? Hold on. Please use your software vendor for installments. Okay. The stroke for S is a small comma. Um, I'm so confused. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. So then, the first part looks like it's, it has to be like one of the G's. So I'm going to go, because I got the picture, I'm going to go with G? After looking at the picture here. Okay, so G. I'm gonna say that that's a G. Actually, it does more of like a this, so this would be... Does it do like a... No, because it kind of like goes up and then out, so would it be? So strokes for K and G are similar to the U stroke, but the K stroke is twice as large as the U stroke and the G stroke is twice as large as the K. So K and then O. Okay, so this one this would this one makes sense. So would it be G L O? Because the W sound wouldn't be there anyway, so this would just be glow. So then it would be G L O that would make sense. So G L O. And then what's the rest? So that takes care of all of that. So then I really just have like the end part of it, which is like a little whoop, and then a circle up. So Huh. Do any of these? So this looks familiar. Kind of. Because it's like the end, but it's too... It's like a little bump, and then... Eh. Okay. We'll get there, and I'm sorry. I know this is a rough part, but we'll get there. We just gotta figure out this puzzle. Okay, so none of those circles look right. So we did fill that out. Um, could it be... Because it does like a little... It does a little like little uppy bumpy thing there. So would, could it be an R? Because it could be like the, the little swoop. Or does, is it like that? Because it's kind of like that, where it goes... Ooh. Could be the R? Or R-A-Y. Wait, that makes sense, because the first part... Yeah, because that does like, that does like the little loop there, so that would make sense. So it would be R-A-Y. Ray, because like, what does the little hashtag mean? Not the hashtag. The word for Lou, that means that the word, okay. There's two rivers in Ray, a tiny upward hook. Boink. Notice how the double lines under the word for Lou, that means it's world should be capitalized. Okay, so the little hashtag, not hashtags, the little lines means it needs to be capitalized. And then we had this whole section for GLO. And then, so then the other section would just be this, Ray. So, G L O R A Y, but it's not to be glory. Glow Ray, glory.
Maybe? Would it be capitalized? Let's try it. Okay. Let's see. Where's my little thingy? The name of the carousel horse oh! is Glory. We did it. Look at that. We got it. I'm so good. So. No, that's not what I want. So, on our to-do list, it should have crossed that off. Right? Cross the other things off, and we should be good to go. Um, yeah, there's like nothing. Okay, yeah, I guess I passed it. Alright, do I need to call Bess and George? Tell them about it. I don't really want to, but they said that we have to promise. <laughs> Alright, let's give them a little call. We just learned shorthand. Hello? Hi, Bess, it's only me. Oh, hi, Nancy. Yeah, sorry, Listen I'm not a you, hot boy. You're probably making Nancy feel terrible. Maybe I should answer the phone from now on. You wouldn't dare. It's okay, guys. I understand. I'm sorry, Nancy. As you may have guessed, Matt hasn't called yet, and he is just so, so cute. cute. Well, you know what? Anyway, what's up? You know what? Matt's a jerk. Matt should have called by now. So I feel bad for Bess. Matt should have called. You deserve better than Matt, Bess. You deserve better. I don't- Catch I you guys later. What it was. I, was, I called you to Good tell luck. you. Why are you- Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna go talk to Glory. Or to Joy about Glory the horse. <sighs> I hope Bess finds really good guy. Doesn't get stood up by guys like Matt. Any luck? I know the name of that carousel horse your mother bought you. Glory! Glory! That's right! Glory! My mother gave him to me for my birthday. My fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. Was it an accident or was it on purpose? Hmm. How awful. No wonder you forgot how much you love the carousel. It would have reminded you of your mother. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine! You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and okay. final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number 10. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and Wait. cherished you'll find. Ask Tink for the book. Is the brass ring? Because it said a brass on a something or another. I already got the brass ring. Oh, right, well, let me look. Um... Tink's the guy who runs the carousel. Let's give him a call. I've got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. Well, you're not going to see Miss Santos right now, let me tell you. Alright, so we'll go out here, we'll call Tink. She's just saying that because she doesn't, she's lazy and doesn't want to do any of the work. But yeah, but this brass ring, I wonder if I only need one or if I need more of them. But, I guess I will call Tink. See what he says. This is Tink. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. That answer your question? Yikes. Um... I already figured that out. Okay. According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Rolf Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? Daryl Trent was kind of an oddball, you know what I mean? So when he gave me the book, I said I'd hang on to it just to humor him. As soon as he died, I pitched it. What? What? You threw it out? You mean in the garbage? He said it was a book he and his kid used to read. But hey, Daryl Trent was dead. I never met the kid and the book was boring. So what was the point? Hmm. 
I need to find out Amelia's nickname. Who's Amelia? Oh, never mind. Sorry. Well, then how the heck am I supposed to figure this I'm out? I'm curious. Who do you think stole that horse off the carousel? Kids. Stare at each other, doing stupid kid stuff. Or maybe somebody just liked the way old Nightshade looked and wanted him for himself. I don't know. Nightshade? That was its name. Nightshade. Kessler gave all of his horses names, painted them on their bridles. Uh, have fun fishing. <laughs> Always do. Maybe, maybe that's a hint. So let's go back in here. Oh. I am Miles, the magnificent memory machine. Cool. Joy has stepped out of the office. Thanks, Miles. The Nancy Drew entity is welcome. All right. Did she leave me a note? Hmm, looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're not gonna talk to her about it. There was a weird book in here. I wonder if it's... Ugh, it's not that. Is there another book up here? Because this is the only place I remember there being, like, lots of books. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. His voice sounds so familiar. I think I actually looked it up last time, and I think he's in the voice of him. Like, they're in other... <clears throat> sorry. They're in other games. I just don't remember which ones it said, but it's so familiar. Is this the book? Maybe. Okay, something... Um, uh, Kessler, something. Fantastical factoid. Okay. Like, Kessler is in this. Is this not... But it doesn't have, like, the nickname for Amelia. I'm not really sure exactly at this point. Okay. There's no other books here I can talk or I can see. Alright. Maybe... We can talk to Ingrid because there's only like four people. Well, what about Harlan? There's only like four people I can talk to here. Hey, Nancy, what's up? No, nope. see you around. Have fun. Nothing with you. Man, I don't know who the bad guy is in this one. I think Joy, like, started, like, just that one part. But I don't think she's, like, the overall villain in this scenario. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Thanks for your help. Remember, Niacin. I don't know if I trust her. Or maybe it's Elliot. Elliot's, like, super far behind, so... Mm, he's worried about... There's a treasure chest next to Elliot. That's not suspicious. But, like, Elliot's super far behind in all of his stuff. Maybe it's Elliot, because he needs money. Because he's probably going to get fired. Or he doesn't want to work anymore, which, understandable. So maybe it's Elliot. Why don't we... Alright, I'm going to go in here and check on my little... My little to-do list. Alright, arrange the brass ring on Spook's Spooktin's forearm so strange. Find out what Amelia and Kessler's nickname was. Consult an expert. Check out Spook number 10. Amelia Kessler's nickname was. Consult an expert. Who would the... Someone who knows a lot about Kessler would probably know. Wait, 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 wait. There was one more person. Not that. This guy? I think this guy knew a lot about Kessler. Well, he doesn't want to talk to me. So there's that. Um, so not him, not them, not home. This guy? Does he want to talk to me? Sorry, sports fans. I'm down at the courthouse right now, seeking fair compensation for my grievous neck injuries. Leave a message at the beep, and if I'm not in too much pain, 
I'll give you a call back. What am I doing? I don't have anything to say to him. I don't have anything to say to him. Hmm. Who's this guy? I don't even remember who this guy is, but maybe he's an expert. That's the only other thing I can think of. Sukov! Hi, it's Nancy Drew again. Ah, I have another good, question good, for good, you good. about Walt Kessler. A very important question. Let's hear it. Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spatzi. That was it. Spatzi? Spatzi. S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spatzi. S-P-A-T-Z-I. That doesn't sound that cute, but you know what? It's fine. Has anyone ever forged a carousel horse? You know, carved a copy of a Kessler or something, then passed it off as the real thing? Oh, yes. I've been called in to authenticate horses that turned out to be mere replicas at least a dozen times in my career. Some forgers will make several copies of the same horse. I remember a case where three people claimed to have the exact same loof. Interestingly enough, all three of them were fakes. Huh. Okay. Well, thanks, bud. Thanks for all the info. The pleasure was all mine. Okay, so what does the poem... We did that, so I kind of want to check. Uh, Miles' third riddle was a doozy. Asking for the book, you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia, so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number 10. Then the brass prize arranged on his forearm so strange, and something long lost in cherish you will find. <gasps> I think we're getting close. I think we're getting pretty close, boys. We got this. Because spook, so I'm guessing haunted house. Spook. It's locked. Yeah, right. Right, right. Where? There. Weird. Okay. Well, you're there. Where's spook number? Are you spook 10? Looks like spook 10 is missing an arm. Where's your It's arm? been red tagged. Better right. not take the tag until I fix this. So am I gonna have to fix this bad boy? What if I give him the ring? Better not take the tag until I fix this. Alright, so that's Spook 10. I'm gonna have to fix him. Let's go talk to the fixer lady. Hey, can you fix the alien? Hello, Nancy. How goes it? There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Do I have pliers? Thanks for your help. You bet. Do I have pliers? I have pliers. Did she give them to me? I don't know. Alright, let's head in here, put this guy's arm back on. That's just so weird looking in my inventory, I'm not gonna lie. That just looks weird. Where is the... I don't like that laugh. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like that laugh kind of creeping. There's no noises coming from below. Where's the arm? Oh yeah. Man. That looks tight enough. Alright. I'm glad your arm's back. Okay. Wait, I didn't get the tag. Okay, so let's grab the tag. I need Boy. to take this red tag back to Harlan. Yep, let's go take it back to Harlan. You know how convenient it is that the ten, number 10 ghost is right there? Or whatever it is, alien, demon. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You've really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. Thanks, pal. I'll see you around. Have fun. Try my best. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. 
Stop giggling at me. Okay, we're getting close. Ooh, he's creepy. All lit up. Yikes. Okay, so I need to give you the ring. Where do I put it? Huh? What? Where do I put this? Why can't I put the ring on you? sure don't feel very safe. Right, so just keep going. <gasps> ah! It's fine. <gasps> Look at Oh my gosh, these must be jewels from that jewel heist. I should probably take these with me. Right. Yeah, let me just take these with me. A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago, but I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, oh, Joy. Mom's pretty. We both did. Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. Hmm. Oh, but you're just gonna leave that one? So this was Kessler's workshop. Wow. Somebody's been making reproductions, or should I say forgeries? Wow. I bet it's Elliot, because he's been trying to make the reproductions, huh? Hmm. What? Okay, there's a computer down here, so this thing is like recent. Two dark horse at Sinus? I don't know. Already have two potential buyers. They learned about the hauntings on TV and are champing at the bit, as as it were. The sooner they get can get, get the horse, the better. How soon can you get two done? A 40 U 60 me split would work out great. Consider this a handshake. How long will it how long will it take you to line up buyers? Three to five weeks is too long. This kind of buyer gets cold feet real fast. The longer you take, the more suspicious they'll get. Work faster. It's taking me longer than I thought it would. We don't have the first horse ready to ship for three weeks. The second horse will be ready in maybe five. Already have two potential buyers. They learned about the haunt. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm going to turn around in here at some point. The bad guy is just going to be like, what? I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. I bet it is. You're probably not wrong. Okay, so that's how he's making it, blooming it, lining it up. I don't like that horse head just chilling over there. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little creepy. Anyways, oh! Nancy, oh, I was Nancy, right. Nancy, what have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? But several. You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. I'm supposed to throw something at you're him. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well. Little icing on the cake. Right. Um... That's right. I've you read my... Here! Ouch! Hey! I've got to get out of here. Run, Nancy. I can't... 
go. Oh. I'm trapped. I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. Uh. You might as well give up. Uh. I can't do anything. Ah! As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight. <laughs> or the next ten years. Ah! Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed I to tie the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. Harlan, uh, on the yeah, other hand, adores me now. Because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula. But he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, <laughs> when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy. Good for Joy. Maybe she found a little bit of Joy. Do I still get to keep the jewels? Are those mine? Is Nancy rich? Hey, sassy detective. Congratulations on solving the haunted carousel. Based on your cool sleuthing style, you're presented with the... Reading everything you could get your hands on. Avid reader. Woohoo! Wow, we did it. Oh? You have reached 555-4468. I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. Hi, Bess. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm leaving here and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much-needed R&R. George, I okay. just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. She insisted I stay with her. And she even said she'd take me whale watching on the tour boat she owns. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week of peace, quiet, and sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Bye. I doubt it. Right. As if. Okay, I was gonna say that the next one is Danger on Deception Island, but they did a nice little preview for you there. So, that will be the next one. I I don't know if I have it. I'm gonna have to check and see if I have it. If I don't have it, I'll still, I'll get it and we'll make it the next one. Um, but I have played it, it's just been a hot minute. So I really don't remember like any of that. I think I've only played that one like once. So the next one will be Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. Sorry, this one was a little bit shorter. Honestly, if I knew I was that close to finding it the last time, I would have just stayed on and finished it. But I forgot, and I didn't know I was that close. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see the first part of it, it is over on my YouTube channel, and as well as all the other Nancy Drews that came before this one. So I hope you had a good time. I'll see you next time, and don't forget to stay awesome. Bye!